Works of art have long been identified as an ideal method for criminals to launder money and for wealthy people to avoid taxes. It is particularly convenient as the industry allows people to anonymously acquire expensive paintings through large cash deals. Welcome back to How Criminals Launder Money. Let's deep dive into the process of laundering money through art. The Mexican government passed a law in the early 2010s to require more information about the buyers and limit the amount of cash spent on a single piece of art. The market cratered as sales dipped by 70% in less than a year. Many believe this is because the Mexican cartels had previously been the biggest buyers in the market. The amount of money being laundered through the art market is considered to still be expanding. This is because regulation for other asset classes like real estate and foreign exchange are continuing to tighten up. Criminals use multiple art-related schemes to launder their money, sometimes even terrorist organisations. For example, ISIS is known for its intensive laundering of cultural antiques. Even after the group got kicked out by the army, they control millions of dollars, possibly hundreds of millions, thanks to this trade. Here's how the terrorist organizations turn these artifacts into revenue. ISIS-affiliated jihadists were finding relics at local digging sites in Iraq and Syria. They were selling these relics at a discounted price to ISIS officials. The goods were then sold to independent middlemen who smuggled these into bordering countries like Lebanon and Turkey. Finally, the relics found their way into warehouses in Europe where they awaited Western buyers. Some other methods are more straightforward, such as leveraging free port secrecy and tax advantages. Criminals can buy an expensive painting at an auction and store it in high security storage near an airport. Then it can be anonymously sold and the original buyer now has money from what is considered a legitimate business deal. Experts in Geneva estimate that free ports could hold more than $100 billion worth of art. Knowing this, there are people who are against increased regulation on the sector. They argue that the art market would suffer if the tracking of purchases and sales were enhanced. Others believe it would effectively dry up illegal transactions and protect honest traders. It would seem clear that the increased transparency should be implemented around the origin and destination of the funds. What do you think? This is one of the most known ways to launder money, but we're not done yet. Follow us to stay updated because next week we'll explore a crazy method on how criminals launder illicit funds. See you then.